Hey everyone, so today's makeup tutorial is like a two-in-one um, video, I guess. I did two different kinds of kits. So I did a gingy little house kit or tiger. It kind of looked like a tiger as well, this one here. And I did a leopard, which you can see here. So I used two different techniques. I used a makeup, like more makeup application kind of technique for the leopard, which you can see here, and then more of a face painting technique for this one here. So if you wanna see how to do them, just stay tuned. First, we're starting with the leopard. So I am just priming my skin, and then I am mixing these two products here together to create a foundation to match my paler skin I'm wearing. Paler skin I'm wearing, that sounds so creepy. <laughs> anyway, I am just putting this on my face and blending it out with a foundation brush and I just want my skin to look nice and flawless and this look we are going for is more of a sexy kind of cat look. You guys know how it is, we all have that one friend that wants to dress up as a sexy cat or leopard for Halloween. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> I am also applying some concealer under my eyes and down my nose and stuff just to even out my skin a little bit more and hide the dark circles and then I am setting everything with powder. And then next I am taking bronzers and I am going very heavy handed with this and I'm kind of putting it where I am putting the leopard spots so I'm putting it on top of my cheeks and on my temples and I put some on my nose as well and then after this we're going to take a even darker contour or bronzer color I'm using bronzer instead of contour because I want it to look very warm like leopard colors and yeah contouring as well Next up, I am just filling in my eyebrows as per normal with my normal products and I'm just making them look kind of hairy. So I used heaps and heaps and heaps of this brow plumper with the fibers in it just to make them really thick and voluminous. And then I am taking an eye primer and just popping that all over my eyelids so my eyeshadow lasts and looks perfect all night. And I'm using this self-made palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills to do the eyeshadow. I'm using this warm kind of medium brown in the crease and then the really dark brown on the lid. I'm also putting that crease color on the lower lash line just to give my eyes a little bit more shape. And then I'm taking Black Track by MAC and extending my upper lash line downward, down the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm also doing the same on my lower lash line, just making little pointy shapes to make my eyes look more feline shaped, if that makes any sense at all. And then I am doing eyeliner on the top as well. I started using gel and then did my flick with a liquid because I'm way better at liquid eyeliner than gel eyeliner. And I did don't want to screw it up and that wing looks pretty good to me I'm so happy <laughs> I am also using a little bit of black pencil on my waterline just to make my eyes look nice and dark like a cat's eye. And then I'm taking that brown that we used in the crease and doing random splotches all over my temples and cheekbones and cheeks. And these are going to be the leopard spots and I'm making them really random, like random shapes. And then for the rest of the leopard spots, you just wanna take your eyeliner and I like to do little brackets like that. Sometimes I do like a C around the dot and then I just do like different shapes every time. And the more irregular they look, the kind of better. So I'm using different pressure on my brush to make like some of the lines thinner, some of the lines thicker. And yeah, I think it came out pretty good. This was the very first time I ever tried anything like this. And then I'm using a little bit of that eyeshadow just on my nose as well to give it a little bit of shape. And then using a nude eyeliner just to shape out my nose that I'm going to be wearing for my leopard look and then filling it in with black eyeliner. I'm learning how to breathe, this voiceover is going really fast. After that, I'm taking a pure white eyeshadow and kind of highlighting some areas of my face where like leopards kind of have highlighted areas. I don't know if that makes sense. I filled in my lips with black eyeliner and black liquid lipstick and then intensified that white under my eyes and I also put a little bit down my nose and on the tip of my chin and in between my eyebrows. Um, and I just think it gives your face a little bit more of a cat shape. And then I also decided to add some more leopard spots to my chest and shoulder and I'm doing the exact same thing. As you can see, I just sped it up to save a little bit of time. By the way, yes, I did miss um, an outline of a leopard spot in the middle of my forehead. I I'm sorry if that's annoying you as much as it is annoying me right now as I edit this video. I can't believe I did that. Anyway, I'm applying some false lashes. These are the Feline by EXO Beauty, of course. What other lashes would I use other than the Feline? They are so perfect for this look. Um, they really elongate your eyes. And then if you want, you can even add in some really fun contacts like I have here. And that is your completed look. 
This look is an outfit within itself, or you could pair it up with a black leather cat suit if you want to be uber sexy, you know, it's up to you. Um, I just got the little ears off Trade Me, but most costume shops should have something fairly similar. So that is the first look done. I hope you like it. Moving on to the second look. This one is more of a face painting kind of technique. I'm starting out with primer, and by the way, I just kept my eye makeup on for this look because you could do the same kind of eye makeup. I am starting with a white and a little concealer brush as my paintbrush and I'm just applying the white in these areas it's kind of easier if you just look at what I'm doing rather than be trying to explain it because I'll just confuse you <laughs> what I did was I actually googled tabby cat like ginger tabby cat and I'm just copying the markings of the cat in the picture you can even dress up as your own cat if you want to be a crazy cat lady for Halloween you know that's totally cool <laughs> So I'm doing that and then I am using that foundation from the last tutorial just over the rest of my face to even out the pink in my skin and blending that out with the foundation brush. The reason I did this after the white is because if I put foundation on before the white, the white isn't as pure. So I just found this easier. It's up to you though. If you want to do the white afterwards, that's totally cool as well. And by the way, remember for this look, you can just use face paint if you want. I just used what I had in my collection, which were a few like, you know, cream colors and stuff like that. So I'm actually showing you now. I am mixing a dark brown, orange, and white into a few different shade variations. I did a more bright, orangey color which I'm using first around some areas on my face and then I also did a like darker kind of like orangey color which I'm kind of going to blend in in a moment which is coming up now there we go so it's a little bit darker just for some shade variation and then I also did a dark brown like a dark warm brown and I'm just adding in those colors as well as you can see I'm kind of doing thick kind of brush strokes I'm making it look super super textured because obviously we want it to look kind of furry but I'm just using the brush and kind of just flicking the color um, and using like more and less pressure depending on the area just to give a little bit of variation um, this was the very first time I ever tried face painting and I'm actually quite proud of how I went and obviously the more practice the more perfection you will get I'm also adding on some little whisker dots just with that dark brown gel eyeliner and then I am drawing on my nose and mouth with a kind of neutral pink eyeliner I mean lip liner just kidding lip liner um, and then I'm using a liquid lipstick just to fill in those areas as well To finish off this look, I am just adding some whiskers with the white gel eyeliner and an angled brush and then I'm using the dark brown underneath just to kind of give them a little bit of a shadow to make them stick out and stand out a little bit more. I don't know what I'm doing here, just ignore me. I added in some bright blue circle lenses because I thought it looked really good with the gingy cat face. <laughs> so that is the completed look. If you try any of these looks out, please tag me in photos on Instagram and Twitter and stuff. Um, thank you guys so much for the support and the compliments when I put these photos up on Instagram. And yeah, I hope you liked it and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Hey everyone, so today's makeup look is a super easy unzipped face look. So it's a little bit special effects, but it's not gory at all all because I know lots of you don't like the blood and guts kind of Halloween looks so this one's just a little bit more pretty and fun and still super like clever 